Oh, yes! Today, everyone, we are looking at the Milty Blood Type Lumina, Milty Blood Archives Edition. Um, that's what it says it's called on the Play Asia, but we'll just call it the Collector's Edition. Anyways, guys, um, I got this thanks to my buddy DJ. Uh, he actually reminded me doing a live stream, and I found out I had to go pick this up. So, opening up the box here, here is the game. Um, we'll look at that in a sec. Here is the soundtrack, three disc soundtrack, which is, I thought was outstanding. I love soundtracks. This game has great music. And here is the art book, which goes through the art of all the games from the beginning all the way to the new ones. So pretty cool stuff. So first we'll take a close look at the game case here. So as you can see, the art is really nice. Open up inside, unfortunately there's no art book, but there is reversible cover art of that. Don't really think you would use. But still, it's better than the, that white blank paper that you see usually in your games. And here, the, on the back cover here, not in English, but the game plays in English just to let everybody know. Alright, so here is the three disc soundtrack. Comes in this nice box. Now, if you haven't played the earlier games, um, the soundtracks for those games are included here as well. So they kind of did a deep dive through the whole series. If you haven't played those games, they are available for Steam if you want to play those. Here's the, the manual telling you which songs on the disc. And here is a closer look at the disc art here. Uh, it gets me wondering, do a lot of you like actually listen to CD soundtracks anymore? Do you guys even have CD players anymore? I feel like a lot of music is just digital now, but still, I like having the physical either way. Um, and I think most of you guys will too. Now here is the archives art book. Uh, this pretty much goes through the history of the series. And there is a lot of it. Art, just a lot of storyline. This is really cool to see this. Now, of course, it's in Japanese, so I don't understand it. But it does give different variations of characters, uh, uh, like what-if scenarios and stuff like that. Pretty outstanding stuff. But, you know, I like this type of stuff. So I think this is definitely worth it if you want to get this um, collector's edition. All right, so that's going to do it for the collector's edition. I'm really happy to have this. I think they did a really good job of putting this out. You know, they added the collectibles that most people would want. Now, we're going to go ahead and look at some gameplay. All right, so the game comes with 14 characters to use. I think that's a good balance of characters. I don't know if there's going to be any DLC characters in the future. I'm not really too worried about it. I'm happy with this. It keeps the game really balanced, I think. So... Um, hopefully that won't turn some people off. Now when you guys do get into this game, I highly recommend that you go to the tutorial mode because it'll teach you a lot of the gameplay mechanics, the basics and all that good stuff. Uh, it's very helpful and it taught me a lot of stuff. Now I haven't learned too much about the Blood Moon tactics in this game to use your last arc, but I'm still learning that and it doesn't seem like it's going to be too, too hard to use, so uh, hopefully in the future I'll be able to show some better gameplay. So the game is pretty much a four button fighting game. So you have your light attack, your medium attack, your heavy attack, and then you have a parry attack that you could do some cool techniques with. Um, I'm having fun learning it. It's not hard to learn, but just for you all to know that this is a rush fighting game. So you got to kind of pour the combos on and rush your opponents. Um, it's not defensive like something like a, say, maybe like Street Fighter where it's very tactical. Um, this game is like all about combos and knock it out like crazy combinations. <laughs>
Whew, barely pulled that one off. But anyways, everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for this game, it is available for the PS4 and Switch as a download. Uh, the physical copy right now is very hard to find uh, as of this video. And um, I'm not sure if Play Asia and uh, Amazon Japan are going to get copies back in stock. But if they do, I will keep a link in the description and keep you guys updated on it. And anyways, guys, hope you have a good day. Radical Reggie, and I will see you all later.